Yeah, please be seated. Go Bears! Go Bears! I tell you, today is a great day to be a bear. And all of us uh, love the start of a fall semester. Everything is new. We have, we have a new president. Uh, we have, yes, give it up for Biff Williams. In a year, we're going into a new conference. And yes, give it up for CUSA. And now today, we have a new athletics director. I do want to take time to um, thank the search committee. Uh, they have done an incredible job. Uh, and of course, Dr. Williams uh, gave the, the mission uh, to the search committee at the very end of June uh, and said, we got a couple of months to do it. We still have a day left, but we got it done. Uh, and nearly 60 applicants, and I know the search committee put in a lot of time and effort. So let's give them a round of applause. Thank you for their time. And now for the introduction of our new athletics director, please welcome the 12th president of Missouri State University, Dr. Biff Williams. Well, good morning and welcome and thanks for coming to this historic event. We're super excited to have you here. I must say the last time I was here, I, I was interviewing for the job and I like this much, much better, so. <laughs> But I, wanna, I too want to thank everybody that's making this possible. We have the best collegiate band in the nation, in my opinion. A huge thank to our Sugar Bears, to our cheerleaders, to all our student athletes. Will our student athletes please stand up and let us recognize you. I also want to thank the, the search committee and especially Vice President Brent Dunn. I gave him to, I told him I w I'd like somebody in place by September 1st. I was hoping December 1st, but he met the deadline. So I was giving myself three months. But I do want to uh, specifically uh, recognize the, the search committee. I know some of them can't be here today because they're coaching, uh, they're out doing something, they're, they're traveling to the next event. But if they're here, if they could please stand, if you could just hold their applause, your applause until they're all standing. Uh, of course, Vice President Brent Dunn, who is chair, Beth Cunningham, who's the head coach for women's basketball, John Foster, who's Foundation Board of Trustees Executive Committee, Casey Hunt, our interim athletics director, Jim Hutner, our, um, our faculty athletic rep, Beth Perrine, who's our academic advisor, also our longtime softball coach. L.D. Scott, assistant coach to football. Joe Turner, who's the president of Great Southern Bank Arena. Lily Whitley, who is our student representative from women's golf. And Jalen Williams, who's a student athlete from football. Will you please join me in giving them a round of applause. They did a tremendous job. It was a job that uh, took a lot of time and effort. We had over 50 applicants. They Zoom called and interviewed over 11, and they brought three to campus. And in my opinion, they did a fantastic job. Uh, one other recognition that I'd like to make, and, and it's um, with sincere appreciation that we recognize Casey Hunt. If Casey's here, if she could please stand. Casey has served as our interim athletics director and she has just done a phenomenal job. On administrative council, we've really grown fond of her. Uh, she, I don't know of anyone that loves the Bears more than Casey. And so I can't thank you enough for the service. What's nice is we get to keep her. <laughs> but I can't thank uh, Casey enough. So can we give her just one more last round of applause? Last year, my predecessor made a very bold move and we decided to go to Conference USA. 
When you read about the history of this great institution, if you get the book uh, about the first hundred years, on the front of it says, Daring to Excel. And I think that this is one of those moves in the history of our institution where we're really daring to excel. There's, uh, it's gonna take all of us in this room to help our intercollegiate athletics department really rise to the occasion for Conference USA. It'll take every one of us in some role or some form or some fashion. Our first step though, was to find the right athletics director. We know that as going to Conference USA that we needed somebody with great experience. Check, he's got over 20 years of experience in athletic administration, six different institutions. We knew that we needed somebody that had administrative experience and that understood the internal workings of intercollegiate athletics. Check, we knew somebody that we needed a strategist, somebody that had a proven record of revenue generation. Check, check. We needed a fundraiser. We needed a community collaborator, somebody that understands external relations and values external relationships. All check. We need somebody that knows how to recruit great coaches and retain them that will create an environment for our student athletes where when our student athletes graduate, they can say that Missouri State University offers the best student athlete experience in the nation. Check. We need somebody to create a culture for our student athletes where they'll never want to leave. We need somebody that's a doer, a visionary, a collaborator, an energizer, and somebody with a plan. I saw his plan, it was 54 pages. From one type A to another, I really appreciated that. <laughs> we have found our leader. But again, this is not a one-man show, but it gives me great pride and a privilege and an honor to announce to you our next athletics director. Please join me in giving a huge bear welcome to Patrick Ransdell. Thank you. Wow. So when people said, why are you looking at Missouri State? This was exactly what I was thinking about. The energy, the passion, this is, uh, it could not have been dreamed better than this situation right here, right now. It is a great day to be a bear. Um, I've got some prepared remarks, but first I want to thank President Williams. Um, thank you very much for this opportunity. Um, your vision for this institution uh, and your support for this athletic department means the world and is really the reason why I'm standing up here today. So thank you very much. My family and I, Brooke, Collins, and Walker, are excited to be here and we can't wait to move to Springfield, Missouri. Not sure when that's gonna be yet, but we'll figure that out in the coming months. I'm so happy to formally accept the athletic director job here at Missouri State. I've been so impressed with the class and professionalism that the search committee performed throughout this entire process. I wanna thank Brent Dunn for chairing this committee and, and coming up, I thought it was a great decision. This is a fantastic <laughs> recommendation. Uh, but I also want to express my gratitude to Casey as well. I know that we've done that already, but um, she's been rock solid throughout this entire process, so thank you. Um, I need to thank a couple of people before we really get going here. Um, Doug Gillen at App State, um, been able to serve over here for the past three years. Uh, we've done a lot of record breaking, a lot of revenue, um, and a lot of winning. Um, so I wanna bring that culture of those items right here to Missouri State. So thank you, Doug. A couple of others, David Saylor, Miami, Ohio, Jude Kelly, Maine, uh, Scott Carr, uh, FIU, uh, Eric Wood. Although I've worked with a lot of great people um, throughout the years and a lot of good staffs. Um, and then lastly, uh, Danny White. 
uh, Danny is here actually today, um, along with some other people from Tennessee. He flew in this morning, um, and I can't express how much that means uh, to me. So we work together at UCF. We've known each other 20 years. Uh, I consider Danny the best in the business. And uh, for him to take time out of his day, along with his wife, Sean, Brady, Amy, Claudia, Cam, Comer, is that you? Look at you. Um, so there's a whole crew in here, and uh, we all work together at UCF. And uh, for them to take out their time out of their day to come, and they're hosting 100,000 people, their best friends, in Neyland Stadium tomorrow. So um, that does not go unnoticed, and uh, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you, Danny. So when we started this, this process, um, Missouri State was some, a school, an institution that I felt like could win, win immediately, uh, and sustain winning for a very, very long time. Um, and I'm going to try and be short today with this, but I've got uh, a little bit about my background, um, and I've got three main points that I want to express to you today, and then I'll let you go. But you guys gave me the mic, so you guys are going to have to sit tight for just a second. Uh, so I was raised in Clemson, South Carolina by my parents, um, who are here today. My dad, Gary, mom, Julie. They raised me with traditional values, respect, hard work, dependability, and love. And without them, my love for intercollegiate athletics probably would not be here today. Uh, we grew up in Clemson, like I said, and uh, our family vacations consisted of what bowl game were we going to, um, what conference were we going to, uh, what donor function were we going to attend that night as someone who's, at the time, the ages of, the, of my children now. Uh, so, and he was president of Western Kentucky for 20 years. Um, so I know exactly what it means uh, to be completely in tune with the mission of an institution of higher education. So I look forward to doing that here. I'm also a former student athlete, played baseball at Western Kentucky. So I'm a product of the student athlete experience. I'm a big believer there isn't a better experience to prepare someone for to go into the real world uh, than participating in intercollegiate athletics. The discipline, the teamwork, the work ethic it, it teaches lays the groundwork for a, a long, successful career. I'm proud to say that, trans, that experience has transformed me into who I am today. And I will work tirelessly to, prove, to make sure that experience is great for our student athletes here at Missouri State. Uh, I earned a bachelor's degree from Western Kentucky and earned two masters from Ohio University. Those master's degrees still serve me well to this day. Professionally, 20 some odd years in this profession, another 20 watching dad do everything that he did. So it, it, shoot, I, I, I got about 44 years of experience. Um, but most recently served as deputy AD at Appalachian State, uh, where we, like I said earlier, broke records, generated a lot of money, and we've, I believe, has built the model group of five program in the country. Um, and I can't wait to see them continue to rise in this new era of really of college athletics. I've also worked for institutions like UCF, as mentioned earlier. In six short years, we were, again, raised a lot of money, generated a lot of money through a corporate program, uh, ticket sales, uh, and we also increased that, that school's, that institution's brand exponentially. Uh, we kind of went pretty aggressive at times, and it, we were, had a bold vision, which is exactly what we plan on doing here. Ultimately, that brand exposure uh, led to them getting an invitation to the Big 12 uh, just a few years ago. So I feel very well prepared for this day. And I think each stop along the way at all of my institutions has prepared me exactly for this job. So of my three messages, one, we are going to align ourselves with the education mission of this institution throughout our athletic department. We are going to be a light as opposed to anything hindrance for this institution. We are under, un, under no certain terms 
will we not support our educational mission. We are going to do everything we can to make sure that we have academic achievement for our student athletes and prepare them for life beyond Missouri State. I'm excited with the thought of developing plans and procedures that align our department with the university's mission and Dr. Williams' vision. My second message is we will embrace our student athlete experience and we will make them successful academically, athletically, and socially. We will embrace the high standards and keep our students the focal point for everything that we do. We will set in, plans, pl we will set in place plans that have our student athletes leaving the university with a meaningful degree. All the while, we'll be closely working with our staff and coaches to make sure that we put our student athletes in position to win championships, plural, with an S. Many, many championships. After almost, that's right. I also know after 20 years in this thing that we're going to be playing by the rules. Now, those rules are changing by the hour. Um, so I haven't checked my email this morning to see what maybe popped up today, but we will be in compliance with NCAA rules and regulations, uh, institutions, rules and regulations and procedures. And it's in my intent that at every turn to place our student athletes well-being as our top priority, to have us represent this great university with the highest degree of integrity. My third message has everything to do with this room. In my conversations with President Williams, we spoke about the importance of inviting and engaging our community like never before. He speaks on the importance of community and I completely agree. We will invite everyone in our community to embrace being involved with the Missouri State. Our doors are open and I invite all 180,000 people who live in Springfield and the hundreds of thousands of people who surround this area to come to a game, buy a ticket, donate to the Bears Fund, and support this great institution and athletic department. I have no idea if you have been engaged in the past, but I promise you, you're about to be. We're gonna have a great time doing it. So those are my three messages. We're gonna align with the educational mission of our university. We're gonna keep the student athletes as our priority, and we're gonna engage this community like never before. So as I begin this process over the next few months, I wanna to listen to a lot of you. I'm gonna to listen to our staff, our coaches, our student athletes, university leaders, donors, prospective donors, corporate sponsors, local businesses, members of the board, and members of this community, listening intently to see what is important for you. This is a unique time in college athletics, a special time for Missouri State as we transition to Conference USA. President Williams and I will do everything in our power to make this transition successful, and we will do everything in our power to pursue championships. We will be unrelenting in our pursuit. So lastly, save this to the end. Brooke and Collins and Walker. You guys are everything to me. So 20 years ago, so this week, this past couple weeks, I've said yes a lot, right? Said yes to Dr. Williams, said yes to this community, said yes to Springfield. 20 years ago, last week, said yes to her. That's my greatest accomplishment, and more importantly, they are everything to me. So, this is my family, and we're proud and honored to say yes to making your home our home. Thank you so much for your time today. Let's get after it. Go Bears! So we have nearly 500 student athletes on this campus, and I know uh, they are excited as the start of the fall semester has already begun. 
and they look forward to the future. And we always want that student athlete experience to be top notch. So to welcome from the student athletes, please welcome Grace O'Keefe, a senior women's soccer player from Overland Park, Kansas. Grace. Hi guys, good morning. As he mentioned, I'm Grace O'Keefe. Uh, thanks for allowing me to talk this morning and welcome Patrick. Um, congrats, first of all, on being a bear. It's been one of the biggest blessings and opportunities of my entire life to be a bear and I hope it proves to be the same for you and for your family as Springfield welcomes you. I also wanna thank the search committee. The process was extensive and their effort was extreme. A few of my teammates were part of the process and they went to great lengths to make sure that the perfect candidate was chosen. And if anything about his past success says anything about the future, we're in good hands. Um, I've got three months left-ish of being a bear. It's been, again, the honor of my life. Um, with those three months, we might think that this wouldn't have that big of an impact on my life, but it impacts my soccer family. But not just my soccer family, my sister is a freshman on the soccer team, so it impacts my actual family as well. Yeah, um, I just hope that they can have the same great college experience that I've had. Um, one of the greatest memories of my college experience was my freshman year. Our football games were electric. The stadiums were packed game after game because we were pretty good. And they haven't said this yet, but at his previous school, App State, under his leadership, they had record attendance for the university and then led the FBS in percentage attendance. So for the size of their stadium, it was the most packed in the entire country. And I can't help but imagine Plaster Stadium being packed week after week and the impact that's gonna have not only on the athletes out on the field, but on the college experience for the students and the energy on campus. Uh, the Conference USA is gonna be an exciting and pivotal change for the university. And we're used to winning around here, so it's gonna take some great leadership to get us to that standard, to that level that we're used to. Um, but with the move to Conference USA, a new president who loves athletics and is gonna get us where we need to be, and then the final piece now, with an athletic director with a proven history of success at this level, I have no doubt that the future is brighter than it's ever been. And I'm a little jealous that my conference games have been up in Des Moines, Iowa and Valparaiso, Indiana, and they're gonna be down in Miami. <laughs> but hopefully my parents will let me tag along for one or two games to support Maggie. Um, thank you again and congrats. Myself, my teammates, my coaches, all the student athletes in the whole athletic department is extremely excited to have you. And as you'll be hearing a lot around here, go Bears. Thank you, Grace. Well, I know our coaches are excited uh, for Patrick and his family to be here. And, and representing the coaches is our head coach for swimming and diving, the very energetic coach Dave Collins. Are we getting a little fired up in here? It's a great day to be a Bear, and, and Patrick, on behalf of the coaches, welcome. We're so excited to have you. Uh, during your visit, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're, uh, you hadn't even left campus yet, uh, and the coaches' phones were just buzzing back and forth, text messages, phone calls, uh, and the message was, you were the guy. I mean, you were the one we wanted. Uh, we wanted you to come in here and lead us into the most exciting time in the history of Missouri State Athletics. There's so much energy and excitement surrounding our teams, our campus, our community. A few weeks ago, we had an opportunity to hear from President Williams uh, when he addressed the coaches and the staff members in the athletic department. I came out of that thing rejuvenated and excited. He has a great vision. He expects big things out of us, and I know we're going to deliver. Patrick, during your time here on campus, one thing you mentioned uh, was your family and connecting families within the campus community. I loved hearing that. So to Brooke, Walker, and Collins, you guys are going to love Springfield, and Springfield's going to love you back. Finally, to all the students, the fans, Springfield community, there has never been a better time to get on board. You do not want to miss out on what's coming. Go Bears.
Now, Patrick, uh, you, Brooke, Walker, and Collins, we have a, a special treat for you, the official welcome to Springfield, Missouri. And with us today are two special people. They're both former employees of Missouri State that bleed maroon and white that love Missouri State. Uh, so would you please welcome the mayor of the city of Springfield, Ken McClure, and city councilwoman, Callie Carroll. Well, good morning. And on behalf of a very grateful community, let me thank and congratulate Missouri State and particularly congratulate Patrick and Brooke. We welcome you to Springfield. We're so glad that you're here. We're happy for our institution and we're happy for our city. Patrick, you mentioned two things in your comments which ring especially true. And one is the focus and the attention and the support that needs to be on the academic mission of our university. Springfield's an education community. We are the home of the largest public school district in the state of Missouri. And as we speak, two floors above us are a group of educators from around this region talking about what we can do to make our public schools better. We are a city of higher education institutions. Four institutions, two public, two private, and we're still waiting on enrollment numbers, but we will have between 40 and 45,000 college students in town on any given day during this week. Academics are important and we appreciate your emphasis on that. The second thing you mentioned was community involvement. And Patrick, you'll find that very little of any consequence happens in this community without a lot of conversation and without a lot of input. And with that goes a support that you will need. So we could not be more proud. We are very, very aware and engaged of the importance of a strong athletic program at Missouri State University. That in many respects will be the doorway to our community. People will come here because of a strong athletic program. They may never ever otherwise come to Springfield. So as a community, we want to be supportive of you. And please be assured of our support. Do not hesitate uh, to reach out. As Brent mentioned, Callie and I are both uh, alums and former employees of Missouri State University, so this institution means a lot to us. So our community is proud. We congratulate you. Thank you for being here. And I'm pleased to be joined by my colleague on City Council, City Councilwoman Callie Carroll Swafford. Callie? Well, first off, as someone who bleeds maroon and white, this is basically like my presidential election. I've been more excited about this than anything. Welcome to Springfield. Everyone in this room we consider part of the Bears fam. So you are officially part of the hashtag Bears fam. And you know, Springfield is great because we have the privilege of holding the premier institution in the state of Missouri right here in Springfield. So welcome to Springfield, welcome to the Bears fam. We're so excited to have you. Okay, they are official now. That is great. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Callie. Well, this is a great day to be a bear. Welcome, Patrick, and your family to Missouri State University. I guarantee you there are great times ahead. Thanks for being here. Go Bears! <laughs> 